I was up in Maryland uh, a couple years ago with my wife, and her her dad's side of the family was having to get together. First time all the uncles had been together in one spot in probably 10, 15 years. And we were having a cookout, and we were having blah, 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 and there was a watermelon. And uh, because it was summertime. They're at the lake, at the park, and they had sliced the watermelon long ways, right? Mm-hmm. So it's a, a half of the, you know, the, the oval shape. And everyone had cut their scoops out or whatever. And I just got this idea. So while everyone else is full and uh, the watermelon's been mostly consumed and there's little scrapings left, I took a spoon and just started hollowing out the watermelon rind. Just, what are you doing? What are you doing, Buck? I'm just, just playing. We're not going to eat this anyway. Like, we've gotten all the good watermelon out of here. I'm just, just scraping out the rest of the rind. Then I walked over to the edge of the water. Don't know why I did this. Set it in the water and just set it free. Godspeed, little buddy. Now there's a little watermelon boat floating out there. I don't know why. Just something fun to do. And then yeah. Aunt Buck comes over to me and goes, what is that? And I look at her all proud of myself. Oh, this is a watermelon boat. Isn't that funny? <laughs> it's floating out <laughs> on the water. People are going to see that and think, what the fuck? And she goes, yeah, people are going to see that and think, what the fuck? And they're going to call the whatever fucking park authority there is and get you either arrested or at least kicked out or fined for littering. I was like, <laughs> oh, shit, you might be right. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have thought about that before I... Yeah, I don't really, th- I don't really can't count that as littering because that's... Well, I mean, that's... she was kind of right <laughs> because... Oh, yeah, did you guys get kicked out? Uh, we didn't get kicked out, but a lot of people were definitely offended by what I had done because there's people out there on those little, uh, those little pedal boats, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like you sit down in it and you have a little steering wheel and you pedal with your feet. and you So people yep. are watching this little, like over the course of the next two hours, people are watching this watermelon boat just float around on the still water. And so people start like pedaling out there to try and retrieve it. No one can quite reach it every time they get close. The wave will kind of, like the little bit of wave from the boat will push it away. And so now there's a group of people who are getting uh, together to, to, to like try, wrangle this. Yeah, they're trying. And I'm sitting over here and she's, every time we see another person That's get involved in this. It was entertainment, yeah, but every time, you see, there's also the shame, because for one, she pointed out to everyone in her family what a prick I was for doing this. You see that? Look what Buck did. Look what my stupid husband did. Put that out in the water. I'm like, geez, baby, just, it's funny. Just, everyone laugh, ha, ha, ha. And her family's like, I mean, yeah, like, sure, but now there's a fucking watermelon floating in the water, you dick. Jeez, thanks, yeah. everybody. And now there's all these people trying to wrangle this... It was kind of comical looking back, but at the time I was I was a little bit legitimately nervous because people are are trying to wrangle this thing and they're getting frustrated because it's like trying to uh, to hurt a cat. You you have a hard time, and then you start seeing people look over at us at the picnic tables, and uh, a couple of them who knew who did it even like pointed at me like that's the fucker that done it, and then you get people looking over their shoulder like oh that asshole. I'm like oh god. So then you see people getting out their cell phones. I'm like, hey, babe, maybe it's time to maybe it's time to pack it in and get out of here. Like, I know we're playing cornhole, but uh, that that dude over there with the cell phone is looking right at me and he's pointing at me and he's on his phone. Maybe it's time for me to uh, one, you know, reconsider my actions and two, get the fuck out of here because I don't feel like going to jail in Maryland and not be able to go yeah. back to North for for something as stupid as floating. A biodegradable watermelon rind out on the water and pissing off a bunch of environmentalists. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't have as big a problem with that as I do people leaving their plastics everywhere. And um, I have a, a friend; their house backs up to a a major street, and they had to extend the height of their fence because people were just, I guess, going to the gas station just down the road and then walking down and they'd finish their soda or whatever. And they just throw their trash over their fence and into their backyard with kids like, uh, not, not in my hand, not my problem. I don't <laughs> care anymore. It's just, just, it's inconsiderate and it's shitty of you. And, and the fact that you can't be bothered because really how far do you have to go to find a trash can? I mean, usually, yeah, you're right. If you're out on like I mean, a, a trail somewhere, you're out on a trail, then you shouldn't have brought it with you. My, if you're in a neighborhood, just go up to the side of someone's house and throw it in their trash can. If you're well, in a that could be a, considered a, trespassing. Ah, eh, fuck them. <laughs> you, you say fuck them till you get shot. Yeah, if you're in a city center, 
there's usually trash cans every couple of blocks. Like it can be done. If you're going into a store, just throw it in the store trash can. Next time you stop at a gas station, put a little bag in your car. It's like, just don't be lazy and dispose of shit the way you're supposed to dispose of it. Just yeah. throw it out wherever you are. Oh, I don't care anymore. 